I have a camera for taking video from the inside of my mail, but the video is worthless if I'm not seeing what I'm seeing seeing. So I'm having trouble getting footage on my GoPro because the coolant that's spraying on the part in the tool keeps getting flung up onto the lens of the GoPro case. When I try and use, a, use an airline to reach over the door and blow the coolant off, it, uh, it's just not working out. So it's time for me to fabricate something. So I want to make a little curtain of air that will just blow across the lens and any coolant that's flying towards the lens will get blown away or anything that makes it and hits the lens will get blown off of it. So I have these coolant lines. What I'm thinking of trying is positioning them like so and running a compressed air to them. So I'm torn between doing it the quickest way possible just to get it up and running or do it right the first time to only do it once. So my question is, do I bring compressed air from the top of the machine through the head and down through this block? Because then I could use that air to blow chips away from the tool if I wanted to. Or do I just do something simpler, mount a ball valve onto here somehow, and then run compressed air into it? I decided to go with the simple solution and blow air only across the camera. Here I am making a little block to screw the air connection and the ball valve with the coolant lines into. As an exercise in not overthinking, I didn't design anything ahead of time. I just made it up as I went along, which is something I don't get to do enough of. Just start cutting without knowing exactly where I'm going next. On my own parts, I can do that, because if I make a mistake, I can just change the design, and that mistake becomes a part feature. With customer stuff, if it's not perfect, I have to start over and make a new one. After finishing the manifold with all of its revised features, next I made a bar to mount it to and gave that bar holes which lined up with two existing bolts on the machine. Now with everything completed and installed, I'm getting my first test footage and it looks successful. The coolant is bouncing off of those cutters and flying everywhere, but the camera lens stays clear. I'm happy with how it works. The only bad thing about it is it's really noisy, blowing all that air right by the camera. But that doesn't really matter if I'm going to voice over the video anyways. Anyway, successful project. Kind of noisy. It might have been useful to blow air on the tools, and maybe I will do that in the future. But whatever. Thanks for watching.